I would have loved to be with you for this important conference and also for yesterday's commemoration of World Remembrance Day for road traffic victims. This year, the United Nations have highlighted the slogan, Roads have stories. To me, this draws our attention to the human faces and the real lives, which unfortunately are taken away tragically by road traffic accidents. Let me therefore commend all the organizations that have come together to organize this conference and for highlighting this crucial concern. I must also take this opportunity to welcome the United Nations Special Envoy for Road Safety, Mr. Jean Todd, who I am sure will be sharing his valuable insight and contributions. As we all know, the World Health Organization tells us that without effective action, road traffic accidents will become the seventh leading cause of death by 2030. Therefore, I believe that as a country and as a united European family of nations, we must work harder to end the scourge of road injuries and fatalities. In Malta, according to the very latest indicators from the National Statistics Office, the number of reported traffic accidents in the third quarter of this year amounted to 3,656. Although these indicators tell us that the number of accidents have decreased by 6.4% when compared to the same period last year, traffic injuries and fatalities remain an issue of urgent national concern. In this context, let me commend the ongoing country cooperation strategy between Malta and the WHO Regional Office for Europe, which covers the period 2016 to 2021, and which identifies the implementation of safer roads as an essential objective. Furthermore, during the Maltese presidency of the Council of the European Union, my government highlighted road safety as a clear commitment to achieve safer roads by enhancing synergies amongst relevant stakeholders, both on a national and international level. Strengthening our efforts to significantly and permanently lower the rates of traffic accidents is also a responsibility approved by all of our countries as part of our commitment to achieve the United Nations Agenda 2030 for Sustainable Development. SDG Goal 3, Target 6 includes the global aspiration to reduce road traffic deaths and injuries by 50% by 2020. While considerable progress has been made by our respective national authorities to implement and enforce road safety laws and policies and introduce appropriately protective infrastructure, I believe that we must accelerate our efforts as an international community to meet this target. In this way, we will be making a constructive contribution to address the public health and socio-economic concerns which are raised by road traffic accidents. In fact, according to data from the United Nations, traffic accidents cost most countries up to 3% of, th of their GDP. Furthermore, according to the latest reported data about the 53 member states of the WHO European region, road traffic injuries are still a major health challenge in Europe. For these reasons, I am confident that this conference and the parallel conferences being held in other parts of the world will make a valuable contribution, not only to raise visibility, but also to advocate for grassroots and policy-driven initiatives to address road traffic accidents. I believe that issues of road safety are profoundly intersectional and not only an issue for our national health authorities. Therefore, this is an excellent opportunity for productive collaboration to take place between the private sector, civil society, and media representatives of our respective countries. I would like to encourage you, as the experts in this sector, to continue to promote greater synergies between international, regional, and community-based stakeholders by, de by developing more effective measures that promote and prioritize effective road safety. An essential issue to which you will be giving attention during this conference is the need for relevant stakeholders to engage regularly with children and young people to raise awareness regarding road safety as an intrinsic part of their school curriculum. I am pleased about that. As we all know, young people are especially vulnerable in this regard and that road traffic accidents are the leading cause of death among people aged between 15 and 29 years. I believe that European young people can become the role models for road safety among their friends and peers 
by being active participants in national and international road safety initiatives. For this reason, I encourage you to listen to the voices of our young people and ensure that their participation is truly taken on board. Through discussions, debates and awareness raising campaigns, we can bring a powerful message of road safety into our schools, our colleges and our institutions of higher learning. On concluding, I assure you that you have my full support in all of your endeavours to ensure that the lives of so many individuals, particularly our young people, are effectively safeguarded. Thank you.